Hey everybody and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. This episode, we're doing it. We're doing that thing that I don't want to do, and that is unlocking the Lost. So for those of you who are not aware, to unlock the Lost you have to die as specific characters in a row to specific things. Which means this might not be hard, but once you die the first time, which has to be as Isaac. Okay, Curse of the Unknown, so I'm going to have to keep track of my health actually rather specifically. Um, yeah, after you do this, uh, you unlock the Lost. So, I'm actually not taking those, so I'm at two hearts. So the way that you were supposed to originally discover how to unlock the Lost was to hold onto one of the Trinket's Mysterious Paper or Wanted Poster, one of those two. I, I'm at one and a half hearts. And then kill yourself in the Sacrifice Room. You would then get a hint as to what the final... You got like a quarter of the page of the death screen. Okay, so I've got two soul hearts I don't want. So the first thing I have to do is die to a mole boom. Gosh, I'm back to one and a half hearts. Dying to a mole boom as Isaac uh, is not the easiest thing in the world. I could be using seated runs for this, and I probably should, because you don't necessarily know when a mole boom is going to show up. So now I'm at one heart, now I'm at half a heart. So if I get hit, if a mole boom shows up in one of these rooms, and I die to it, um, which means I can't get hit by anything right now. But yeah, if I die to a mole boom, then I can move on to the next thing. We had to die in a specific order, and yeah, it, it's going to start with Isaac dying to a mole boom, as I stated. Uh, the next thing that has to happen is I have to play as Maggie and die on one of the cave's floors to one of my own bombs. So yeah, that has to be the way it goes. And then after that, it is Judas uh, has to die to mom's foot. Which, you know, isn't the hardest thing in the world to do. I'm going to pick these up because it'll help me clear rooms that don't have mole booms in them. Like this room. So if I get hit at all, I die. It's good to remember that. That's the state you want to be in, because usually mole booms don't give you time. Oh gosh. I just walked straight onto the spikes. Okay, so we're just going to keep restarting. And basically I'm just going to keep taking damage down to half a red heart, and then hope I just find mole booms. Since mo I'm pretty sure mole booms only do a half heart of damage. Well, that's not what I was hoping for, but... Basically just means I'm gonna kill stuff by running into it. I do want to take one more half heart of damage. And I messed up. So let's hope there's a mole boom in here. There's not, but I do tend to take damage on this room, so I'm okay with this. Don't know why sometimes they don't fire. I did want to take that, by the way. That damage. Alright, so no mo booms. Just these flies, which have a pretty good chance of killing me. Mo booms tend to show up on only the first and second floors, so I'm really kind of just banking on the first floor. I don't even know if I want to open that. So basically, I, you can do this with seated runs, and if I'm not having much success, uh, I'm going to pass on doing it without seated runs. I just think it's more interesting and more dynamic to kind of go through a strategy of, hey, this is what you would want to do. It's a full health, so I suppose if I'm about to die, and there's no mole boom, I'll use that. And no mole boom. Okay, hoping for mole booms. Nope, no mole booms. So I'm gonna try the next floor, but we'll see if I can defeat the boss without taking damage. I'll try maybe two more times. Oh well. Then there was that. Eh, well, might as well. 
Yeah, hurt me. Alright, so I'm at half heart. That's not a bad place to be. Curse the unknown aside. I've got tons of ways of damaging myself. And I've got a buffer. My goal, or my hope, is that I'm going to be able to, if I find a room with mole booms, uh, get away from them. So that they don't just immediately run into me. That's the hope. And then from there, I can kind of just wing it. Either see if I can get them into two separate groups, maybe bomb a door open so that I can leave. Something like that. And that way I can get down to the half a red heart or whatever I need and re-enter that room. Now I do have Curse of the Unknown here. Or Curse of the Lost, I should say. Okay, if we found mole booms, we found mole booms. Alright. Boom. So I've died to mole booms. So now we have to get everything right. So we get escape to exit. Now I have to play as Maggie and die to my own bombs in the caves or catacombs. So let's do it. So this means I have to play intelligently. Okay, got some allies here. Just yum heart right out of that. That was the plan. Worked out pretty well. So the goal here, or the, um, the strategy, is get bombs, a number one, uh, and hope that you can, and, and not die. So if, if I die as Maggie, without it being bombs, I pretty much have to start over. <laughs> Which obviously is going to take a little bit longer, be a little bit more annoying. But it means that I'm back to playing optimally for at least a little bit. Uh, I'm not so optimally that I get that tinted rock right there. I don't quite care about it that much. Because if I'm going to die on the second, f on the uh, Caves Catacombs as Maggie, uh, I have to have at least as many bombs as I do. I have to have enough... Ooh. I don't know if Bob's brain counts, but it'll be a decent way for me to damage myself if I need to. I'm basically having one bomb guarantees that I can do it. I can kill myself with it. after taking a whole bunch of damage that I can control, preferably. Oh, hello, Bob's Brain. You startled me there for a second. So really, I'm just looking to get through this as fast as possible. That's okay. I don't mind taking damage there. I could heal it up, but I'm not particularly concerned. I could also do something silly like take deals with the devil to the point where it would hurt me quite a bit, and I'm surprised Bob's Brain did not fire there because it would have hurt me again. Duke of Flies. Okay, this isn't a terrible thing to have Bob's Brain for. This is a champion Duke of Flies, though. Darn. I was really hoping to hit Duke of Flies and take out basically his entire set of orbitals. Man, I managed to split the uprights there. If I had managed to do that, uh, it would have made the fight a lot easier trying to bait them into a giant clump. There we go. Bob's Brain has already proven useful. Sure, it's hurt me, but we're going to get some nice damage in on Duke of Flies here while we wait. Oh man, and that explosion just rocked his world. Alright, so we do still have to clear the next floor. Shot speed and a tarot card, which is a Wheel of Fortune card. That could be used to maybe get more bombs. I'm not picking up the health, because I'm pretty sure that 3 health is enough to get me through this floor. Curse of the Lost is kind of annoying, though. Alright, so it's not up. Alright. Okay, it's not this way either. Bob's Brain is basically just going to make this go faster. Another bomb? That's good, that'll help me do that thing that I need to do. Yeah, that's right, off myself. Well, that also helps. Considering I don't bomb myself, I don't actually know how much damage a single bomb's going to do. I know that's weird, but... I just, I've never done it. 
Uh, who cares? It's Robo Baby. It'll do whatever it's gonna do. It moves around uh, in basically the same direction that I fire. And then it occasionally fires. By occasionally, I mean very loosely occasionally. Alright, so I could probably buy a bomb from the shop if I needed to. This pill was full health last time. Now it's explosive diarrhea. I actually don't know if explosive diarrhea would count for killing yourself. But we don't need to kill ourselves on this floor, so let's not do that. Okay, so I'm using my yum heart here because I'd rather live. I don't want to mess up. And Bob's brain has the potential to make this bad. Alright. It really is more of a precautionary thing. I don't know what boss I'm going to get if it's the haunt. This is the cellar, isn't it? No, it's the basement. So we won't get the, the lost. Or the... Wow. I almost said the lost. We won't get the lost. Okay, we've got four bombs. I'm feeling pretty competent, confident about that. Preferably competent as well. But we won't get the haunt. As a boss, it's just not possible. And if the game decides to break that rule just for me, I'll be very sad. Alright. So it's just Monstro. It's Champion Monstro. I believe this is Champion Monstro that can't uh, high jump. Which is okay by me. Although I do like to stay close to Monstro to incentivize him to jump at me. I don't want to get hit by Bob's brain either. We're about to win this which is pretty nice. So yeah, um, this will heal us. Oh, it actually didn't. I forgot. Old Bandage is an empty HP up, but it gives you a chance to drop a red heart, half a red heart every single time you get hurt. Oh, well, we've got a curse room right here, so... Or a full heart, I suppose. Alright, so because I want to answer this question myself, will this do a whole or a half heart? A full heart. So, we died to a bomb. Our own bomb. Beautiful. Next, I almost hit spacebar to restart. Now this is where it gets a little tricky. Because Judas could could be a failing point. We have to die to mom's foot or her hand. So, yeah, it's it's going to be uh, it's going to be a fight. <laughs> so, let's see if we can do this. I have to play safe. And playing safe as Judas is dangerous. Curse of the Blind is not what I want to start with. Dry Baby is actually really good. Uh, he will block tears and occasionally Necronomicon, which is which is very useful in a lot of fights. Hagalaz. So if we find a big room with a lot of stuff in it, oh, we're definitely looking for soul hearts here. We do need to get all the way to Mom. So that that's important, as we have to go all the way to Mom. So it means we actually have to play a, a competent and viable run. We are guaranteed devil rooms from our Book of Belial. And I don't want that map there. Okay, if we take damage, that is a thing. We found the boss room, which is good. If I get hit by a champion, I die, by the way. I actually don't think I have to do this on hard mode. I think I'm just making this more difficult for myself. And maybe that is another solution. Damn, this thing has actually like really sniper accuracy. So, there is a tinted rock there. I'm entering the cave here. I want a bomb. Please give me a bomb. You are amazing game. I'm taking it now, um, just because I don't want to die. I shouldn't explore this room, but I'm going to. Okay, this room isn't that bad. And it leads to the shop, but that isn't going to help us either. But we do have another key. I don't have another scent, or I would probably go for it. I could have hug this room as well. I right, Gemini. I'm going to go ahead and use the Book of Ball Isle here. Might as well. We're a little sad that it's not Steven. Because then we could maybe get that one item we need. Okay, so you... Gotta deal with you. 
shouldn't be too hard. The Soul Heart, if we don't take any damage here, which it looks like we might be able to pull off, the Soul Heart will also act as protection for Double Room. We don't know what this is. Magic 8 Ball is a shot speed up and a tarot card, which is the tower. I have no interest in the tower. I could use it to find Secret Room. Secret Room is likely below this one could also be above this one. So if we use the tower card in here, we find the secret room, which gives us money, which we can then take to the shop to maybe get a soul heart. There is method to the madness, and every soul heart's gonna help, and it makes me really sad that there isn't one here. Alright, so that's okay. We wasted a key, but we still have 10 cents. We can still use that 10 cents on the next floor. And we'll have a Hagalaz rune for if we really want it. We could use that in a number of useful places. Alright, the arcade is nice. Curse of the Unknown is not, but we know that we're one in one right now. So we can keep track of it. I'm not going to use the Blood Donation Machine yet. I'd very much like to see a damage up, or something along those lines. We can't check out the boss trap room unless there's two... Oh, this is tempting. That's really tempting, actually. Mostly because of the red chest. Yep, that was kind of inevitable, uh, because I chose not to move. I really needed to move. Hello. I don't want you doing anything to me. Okay, one sec. Boom. Alright, so now everything's a lot more clear. I saw a Tinted Rock there, which is really also what made me do it, since I don't have any bombs, and another Soul Heart would have been nice. However, it came out to a Golden Chest, which is unfortunate for me, because I now have to choose whether or not I want to unlock that, or eventually the Item Room. But that's okay. I probably should have used this right at the start, but it really was the, the Tinted Rock that made me do it. So we're at one and a half. One red, half a soul. I think that's the game saying go for it. And Guppy's Head is a pretty nice thing to get. Uh, it's not better than the Book of Belial, but it means we're a little bit closer to Guppy. That said, we don't actually want to become Guppy. Now that I think about it. Because we need to die to Mom. And if we have a whole bunch of flies, we might just instantly kill Mom. And that would be really, really bad. Okay, we've got some bombs, that's good. Chemical Peel is a damage up, and I believe a slight range up for one eye. Nope, just a damage up for one eye. I'm still very much looking for our shop, although we no longer have any keys. Pretty much our, uh, our path is pretty solid, pretty obvious, pretty linear. Okay, we are at half a red heart. Sorry, we are at a whole red heart. We just lost our half soul heart right there. So a champion hitting us will now kill us. There are no champions in this room though, which is a benefit. Unfortunately, next room we don't have much choice. Okay, once again, no champions. I backed myself into a corner there, which was very dangerous. Come at me. Okay, we're rolling in money. I'd very much, very much like to find the shop and a key so that I can enter it. Well, this was unexpected and unfortunate, to say the least. So I need a key, like desperately. I'm not getting one. So my options here are fight the boss room. Okay, so I'm gonna fight the boss first. See if I need to use Book of Belial. I don't think I need to use Book of Belial. Yeah, Stingle. I don't think I need to use Book of Belial here. That almost got me. See, he's hitting Dry Baby right there. Alright. 
So we didn't need to use Book of Belial. So it's an HP up. I need to take it. Uh, I doubt I'll... Yeah, that'll kill me if I take it. And it's probably not worth it. Spectral Tears in Flight. Means we'll get Angel Rooms possibly in the future. But what it also means is that I can use my Book of Belial over in the Boss Trap Room. Or I can just gamble and try and get keys. I should have done that. Or there's a key right here that's just a bomb away. Oh, and now I can't actually get in there. I'm silly. But that's okay. I could get in there if I wanted to, is the answer to the question. I could use that uh, arcade and the blood donation machine therein to damage myself down there. But let's see what we got in here. Okay, no items that I'm interested in, but I do want that soul heart. So what we're going to do here is take the soul heart... I, am, I think I'm going to do the silly thing and gamble for some keys. Um, or some bombs. Because right now it's looking like secret rooms right here. Alright, three bombs is a beautiful thing for me to find right now. Net gain of two bombs is always useful. Let's do just a little bit of gambling here. Okay, key is nice. I'd like more than just a key, though. I don't want bombs from you. I mean, I, I, I'll take bombs if you're going to give them to me, but I'd rather not have bombs, is what I'm saying. Keys is what I want. Okay. Now I'm happy. We're at 15 cents which is exactly what I want to be at. We're at one red heart, which means we can go in here. I shouldn't have taken that. I should not have taken that. So I need to die to mom, which means I need to die nine times prior to mom, which I can actually pull off. But it also means that we're also one step closer to being guppy. I just took it because it would be like, hey, you're going to go to the next the next four, or like you're gonna you're going to make it to mom with Judas and Nine Lives, and I didn't even use the Book of Belial. I was too flabbergasted by my own ADC. Oh god, and it's a health up. Alright, well, that's the thing. We're getting a soul heart from this. I really should just use the Book of Belial. This will just go faster. I'm doing like a gallery shoot here. So that was probably a soul heart of damage. So a couple things are going to happen here because I'm so silly. And the first one is that we're probably going to kill ourselves on deals with the devil. More than once. It means I'm taking the deal with the devil that's currently available. Because we have the Book of Blight, it'll still be available for us. We don't die because we do still have some soul hearts. We should have two. One. One and a half. One or one and a half. I'm not entirely sure which. One and a half. So, Catacombs XL. That means we'll go through a little bit faster. One less deal with the devil, which kind of sucks. But, I have to kill myself nine times. Should be able to pull this off, though. It's not the first time I've taken nine lives when I shouldn't have. I will respawn with, a half, with one red heart, though. Which is all all you need. Mom will kill you if she stomps on you and you have one red heart, so... What a nice floor to have flight. I am just looking for the boss rooms. That's all I'm looking for right now. That said, we are having a successful run, so I can't complain too much. Our damage isn't as high as I'd like it to be. That champion took way too long to kill. But that didn't take very long at all, so... Oh, we found the item rooms. I was just going to bypass them. I mean, I am looking to die, but I probably shouldn't be trying to go all kamikaze. Okay, so Blood of the Martyr. This would be a really nice run if I wasn't trying to kill myself. Blood of the Martyr and Book of Belial have a very interesting synergy. And still spider bite, nice. Um, when you have... So, so Blood of the Martyr is a damage up. Um... And 
slowing shot is what the spider one was. Um, but Blood of the Martyr interacts with Book of Belial in fun ways. That way is basically, if you have, if you have both, and you activate the Book of Belial, uh, you get a 1.5 damage multiplier. Yep, it's really good. If I die a couple times, I'm not going to be too sad. And I died. That's okay. We're at 8 lives now. Okay, we're at 7 lives now. That was just a good shot by one of these guys. Said, I don't much mind if I die a couple times. I'm only going to be killing myself in the end. I'll hold on to that. It might be useful. <laughs> so our dead baby, our dead baby friend, um, yeah, he uh, he got hit by enough tears that he decided it was a good time to activate the Necronomicon, which is fine by me. This is not our boss room, that's unfortunate. That could have been our top secret room, so that troll bomb landing there was just kind of nice. So... I'm guessing it's the way that I'm not going, because that's the way that makes the most sense for it to be, because I don't want to go through that that room again. And the game knows this. Somehow, but it knows this. Again with this room. I'm not going to say no to it. I will say no to that, though. So this is actually going far enough that I'm probably thinking that this is the boss room. Boss room direction. Granted, we still have a shop to find, actually. Map would be very convenient. I could just end these these uh, floors a lot sooner. Nope. So basically, my goal is just kind of to stay alive here. So I do have to go through that terrible, terrible room. That's annoying. Golden key. I don't need that. It'll let me into the shop without spending a key. I've already, already spent the keys that I was expecting to spend. This might have been a bad choice, but as you can see, I have tons of damage right now. Just trying to weave my way. Oh! Well, thank you, Dry Baby. I remembered his name was Dry Baby. So Dry Baby finishes the room off for us. Spectral Tears are a lot harder to finish off these TNTs with. Like significantly harder. I could pay you money. I don't really want to though. Don't have a reason to. Waiting for one of these guys to fire a shot that I just cannot avoid. Which is possible. That was close. Mostly because I wasn't paying enough attention. Alright, so these I can still get hit in this room if I'm floating above a pit. So I don't have that immunity that I was hoping for. Which is why I'm trying to take those guys out first, but unfortunately the buttlickers are just doing a good job of getting in the way, basically. Alright, it's probably this way. Well, I got keys, because I needed keys, and I've got so many batteries on this floor. Now we found the boss rooms. It's fun how those always seem to chain. I have a husk. I could Book of Belial. It might be worth it even. But I don't think I need to now. Alright, speed up and size down is good for me. Speed up will help me survive. That's full health. I'm not going to say no to that. Uh, do I really need to use the Book of Belial on this fight? No, but... Why not? I mean, I'm just eating through them. So now I can kill myself on a deal with the devil, it might be worth doing, we'll have to see. Because I'm going to get that deal with the devil, it's guaranteed. Uh, Abaddon and Razorblade, I will kill myself. Well, I can't kill myself on Abaddon, actually. 
because it gives you six black hearts. An evil and a damage up and all sorts of other crazy stuff. And then we'll take meat. We could also take the health up, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to spend a lot of time killing myself on the next floor. Not the next floor, but the next floor now. Or what would be the next floor from right now, not from when I technically said it. Because when I said next floor, I was technically still on the last floor. I didn't even look for the shop. There's going to be a shop on this floor. My motivations here are basically just get straight to mom right now. There's not much else I can do because there's no long-term prospects for this run and we have everything that we need. And I mean everything we need to get to where we need to be on this run. So it's, it's just finding bosses right now. I mean, I'm just going to take a bunch of stupid damage for no reason. That is actually my motivation here. Well, Dry Baby totally did that for me. Thank you, Dry Baby, I suppose. It's really hard for me to actually, like, take stupid damage when, I, when I'm trying to. When I'm not trying to, I can take stupid damage all the time. But right now, when I need to basically take stupid damage, I'm finding it very hard to override those survival instincts that say, no, don't do that. Don't do that thing that looks stupid, because it is stupid. The fact that we're very fast also gives us a very nice advantage in a lot of places. That caffeine pill was nice. Oh, right, we found our boss room. I mean, at this point, my, the easiest way for me to kill myself was going to be to hope for a cursor on the next four, find the way to mom, kill myself a whole bunch of times. Okay, we're going to have a queue of meat. Dangerous, but not really dangerous. Like, it's not going to kill mom in one go. I said, I really don't care. I'm just going to let him run into me a couple times. And it's Krampus. So if I ever get into a bad situation by getting killed, that's when I'm going to use the health up. Like, if I haven't found Mom yet. Doesn't matter, actually, anymore if I tick that. That might not be a bad plan, but whatever. Okay, so now we have to die. To Mom. To Mom's foot. So let's just find her. And get this over with. I've got 14 bombs, so I'm pretty sure I can I can do myself in. I can kill myself enough times that it doesn't matter. This is curiosity, so Isaac's fork don't want. It's not even gonna help me. Help me, hurt me. It's not doing either. Oh, this this room. Dry Baby actually blocked that shot. I'm kind of impressed. It's just clear in the room. And the spiders. I'm gonna take the black heart just because reasons. Come on. Yeah, between Dry Baby and the cube of meat, I've got a lot of protection for stuff. What is this? It's the sun. I don't want the sun. I don't think I have to die every time to the foot. I think it's just the last one. Cool, I don't like curses. Sure, I'll take a ladder. What's this? Bad trip. Alright. There you go. Some stupid damage for you. As I said, this, this run is ending at the end of this turn, so really what I should do is donate all my money. That's what I should do. That way I can use that money for when I need stuff from the Lost. Or in the bank from the Lost. In the bank for the Lost. We have dropped quite a, quite a bit of money out of our donation machine. Oh, and it 
clogged up on the last descent. I'm okay with that. Oh, hello. Yeah, this room's kind of mean because they'll have spawned a whole bunch of flies before they get over here. And if those flies are the flies that they currently are, these pooters, they can just hang out wherever for like an hour and not care. Sometimes it's over rocks. Who knows? Alright. Alright, so this is the mom fight, yes? Yes, alright, so... Uh, I actually want... That one and that one gone. So the ones that'll actively hurt me. These I can choose to hurt myself on. So I need to get down to one life. I actually want to get rid of these. I want very much control over how I die. As stupid as that is, I want to have every every control over when I die. Alright, so the thing to note is that Mom always attacks by stamping her foot down at the start of a fight. That is what I am going for. Now I always forget if times one means you have one more. Arguably I could just be getting killed by Mom. See, I don't know if times one means that I have no more lives, or if I've got one more after this. So we're just doing this. Okay, and we got it. We got killed by Mom's foot, and now, the last step. The one that might take a while, but also might not. We have to be... We have to play Azazel. And we have to die by Satan, basically. So yeah. That's what we're doing. Are you sure you want me to die? Yes, actually. So Azazel, we have to go the furthest with him, but he is also the strongest... Just base. He's the strongest. Golden key, not particularly useful on this floor. Balls of steel, always a useful pill. That one is red and white. That's a little high of a shot, if you ask me. Like, I feel like right here, I guess I am hovering. Yeah, destroying the poops, why not? We got a heart and a coin out of it. So obviously worth. For some reason I thought that bomb rock might explode. Which is of course silly. I have nothing to make it blow up. Okay. So we're playing a dad's key game. I'm okay with this. Um, could this viable be the secret room? I believe it can. It's not though. It charges every two rooms, so it's kind of hard to, yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to, like, deny and be like, yeah, we should totally not do that. Um, I want to go to this one, because when I finish it, it's got the most possibilities for secret room and top secret room along it. By most, I mean, it's got one top secret, or sorry, one secret and one top secret. But that's most that's more than most rooms can claim, so. Plus it does have a shop. Which while I personally can't take advantage of that currently. You never know. Alright. And what do you know? They were in fact both here. Which means you got to hear both of those tinklings, tinkling sounds happen at once. And yes, I know how that sounds. Okay, uh, store credit is the next thing I buy in the store is free. So do I want a crap ton of bombs, or do I want everything to be half price? Everything being half price this early is not bad at all. Well, one second, let's check. 
drop everything. Okay, so nothing is already half price. Oh, interesting. So I have to leave and walk back in, I guess. So everything's half price, which means I can then get a whole bunch of bombs. And I'll take a soul heart. Because I'm mean, I guess. We're looking for damage ups. We're basically just looking for a way to get to Satan. Now, we do have to survive the first phase of Satan. That's unfortunate, getting so many bombs. I'm looking to just kill everything as fast as possible. Speed and range? Sure, range does affect Azazel. And his little mini brimstone, it does go further. Curse of the Blind, I'm not fond of. But we've got a bunch of bombs, so that's not too bad. Well, there's like two things it could be that I would hate. Eh, that's not necessarily one of them. We're just gonna owe the fool out, because why not? That's about all it can save you. Being fast here is nice, but I really want some damage. Ooh, you sneaky bastard. Well, you couldn't avoid that one, so... Oh wow, I let that one just walk into me. I could just leave, I don't know why I'm not. Alright, well, could've been the top secret room. Wish I had the normal secret room. Wow, I'm getting hit more by spiders than anything else. Which actually isn't very surprising as Azazel, because he has charge time, and not everybody does. Nice. Mom's bra. At least it wasn't something terrible. Red heart I can't use. Guess I have to go around. That's alright though. Come on, trites. Come at me, bro. Alright. Should get two or three of them. Right, I'm just gonna leave. Get another charge on the key. And then go back for the, the shop, I suppose. Hello. Yeah, I managed to do that without getting hurt. Oh gosh. Fate! Okay. So we're getting some red hearts is what I'm hearing. Don't know what any of this is. Could be anything. I'll buy one if I get another cent. Which I could probably easily do just by doing this. Nope, you'd think I could get money. Oh my, that was close. And then it wasn't close, it was a thing. Well, I got a scent, so I guess I have to do that thing that I said I was going to do. But after the boss fight, I think. Okay, the haunt. I should be able to manage with Azazel. Uh, mostly because those guys both made bad decisions. Oh, damn you. Unfortunately, Azazel has to be close, and being close to the haunt is dangerous. Alright, we don't know what this is. Mom's coin purse. Okay, we're starting early on the Krampus. Lump of coal, please. I think it affects me. 
Oh darn, that did catch me. Lump of coal, sure. That's what I was hoping for. That's what I said I wanted. I didn't use the pills, because if any of them are telepills, I might have lost the, the room. That was unfortunate. That was very unfortunate. It's okay, we're gonna have one health and three black hearts. Okay, giant spiders and flies. I don't want to become guppy is the problem. I actually don't. Just just like uh, for the last run. If you get too strong, you can just kill bosses without trying. You want to have all the control over whether or not you kill a boss. You don't want it to be up to chance. All right, well, we got a red heart. And now a bunch of money. Possibly a bunch of money. So it triggered twice there. Unicorn stump wouldn't be terrible. It's not something I'm particularly keen on, though. Mostly because I don't have any ways of damaging stuff other than my tears, which unicorn horn prevents you, or unicorn stump prevents you from using. Because otherwise, it might be a good way to get in there. That was very nice. If I had a way of getting in there, I probably would. Mom's key? Yeah. Mom's key makes everything that drops out of chests better. And we've got Guppy's tail, which means synergies ahoy, basically. I'm looking for a few more cents. That compass would be pretty nice. It did also give us two keys, by the way. And what pill is this? Pheromones. Alright, well we're gonna try this. Here. This is the one we don't know. Nope, we know that one. It's this one we don't know. Paralysis. Okay, that's not really a big deal. You can tell our uh, range has definitely gone up, which has made this a little bit easier. Red patches, every time we take damage we have a chance. Tears up, very nice. Every single time we get hit we have a chance of getting a damage up. Alright, so, what about here? Nope. Secret room is not there, the top secret room that would have been. Can't go through there because we didn't bomb into it from that way. So Envy we should be able to wreck. Because of that. Very nice. One more left. And problem solved. Alright, we do have a cursed room that I'm going to be forced to go into because I can't resist that temptation. That's pretty good. Guppy's collar. Okay, so... Oh, we actually... Oh, I made a mistake. Gosh darn it, I keep doing that. So Guppy's collar gives you a 50% chance to respawn at half a red heart. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking. Those of you who know exactly what I'm saying. Basically, I just made my gave myself a 50-50% chance to fail at this. Holy butts. Oh, we got a golden key. Not that that helps us right now, because there's no golden chests left, but good god. So basically, uh, I'm going to walk in. I need to get super powerful is what actually needs to happen. I need to now become guppy and do a whole bunch of stupid stuff, and I need to basically burn my flies out on the first half of the Satan fight, which is the Fallen. The reason for that being, of course, uh, that if I go to do that and kill something... Oh, that's right, I have a ton of money now. 
What is this? Luck up. Oh, that's jammed. Okay. Um, so yeah, if I manage to die to Satan, there's a 50% chance I won't actually die. And if I don't actually die to Satan, there's... Uh, I have to start over, basically. Which basically just means I'll scrap this run, and you guys will never see it. Of course, dying here is also sadly a possibility, because I'm playing very poorly. Well, this is, is this champion gritty that can never fire? I didn't think so, but I guess it might be. Didn't take any red heart damage, but oh gosh, latch key. So that's another luck up. It did give us a soul heart though, I forgot about that. That's good. So let's continue on. I'm playing pretty low health. I'm playing not very safe, considering I said I should play safe. Alright, so we're going to head this way. Because item room and shop. I'd like to get the map. Map, blue map, stuff like that. Oh, oof. I very much would love to see Abaddon. Abaddon would make my day. Libra. Don't want that. Pretty sure that's Libra. I could be wrong. It bounces out your stats. Although, that wouldn't necessarily be bad. Although, it continues to try and balance out your stats, which makes it bad. Dropping all sorts of shenanigans from, from that, so whatever. Please die, bat. Oh, and we found the secret room on accident. Cool beans. Okay, luckily there's a soul heart. Well, sorry, there's a Tinted Rock, which is hopefully a Soul Heart. In fact, it was. Pretty much don't have to worry about opening those. Dark Bum would be a really good idea, actually. Basically, I need to be able to stack up some Soul Hearts or something in the room before that boss fight. So that if, uh, before the Satan boss fight. Yeah, I know. Not an easy thing to accomplish. There's a double key room down here. I keep taking range up pills. And a whole bunch of money and the world card, I'll probably use that on that fight. Or on that on on Shoal. Oh above a gap, you don't know how to behave. Yeah, our range has definitely gone up significantly from those two range up pills. I'm not getting as many keys as I'm hoping for out of these chests. Which is actually... I don't know why I'm going up. I know where the boss room is. I just can't see it. Okay, so these are actually betraying me by not giving me keys. Hagalaz's destruction. I'll find a room to use this on. Maybe. Left hand, actually a good idea. I could become guppy. I can't believe I just lost that key. I don't even care. Right, what is this? I found pills. Bad trip. Tears up. Let's go back and grab that world card. High gloss isn't really going to help me all that much. Except when I forget to turn. So, our range up is going to help quite a bit on this boss fight. The red poop is going to be bad. That will also be bad.
Oh gosh. Oh. HP up and luck up. So we get a lot of luck up right now. I guess that's just. Well, I've got 26 bombs, so I really should look for the top secret room. Since there's only so many places it can be. And it could have a soul heart in it, which could save my bacon. It doesn't, though. Oh gosh, I just walked straight into that red poop. I didn't even see it. I started hovering in front of it. This is Necropolis 1, isn't it? Depths 1. Well, either way. I don't have any damage up, and that's really driving me crazy. It's a combination of the lack of devil rooms. And just the item rooms not being what I want them to be. Okay. I'm not happy about this, actually. Angel room. But it means what I'm going to do is actually take red heart damage at some point where I can take a controlled amount of red heart damage and have healing for it. Okay, so the answer to this question is not useful. Let's do this. Oh, it wouldn't have been there because of the spikes. Or if I accidentally take red heart damage, I suppose that'll work too. That way I won't earn that on this floor since I've already been there. This is a terrible plan. I could do it. I could take nine lives. I could become Guppy. I'd have nine lives. I'm just doing red heart damage to myself so I can take that. If I get into a dire situation on this floor, I will take it, but I really don't want to. It's a bad, bad item to take right now. And we, we are actually in a really bad position right now. Because I'm playing poorly. I've also got Hive Mind, which also makes this dangerous. I need to kill myself ten times before the boss. You know what? Let's fuck it. This is probably a bad idea. But we've got a bunch of lives, so I will get to Satan. And all I have to do is acquire things... Basically, I just have to acquire the things I need. We're going to have an easy time until we get to Satan. We have to figure out a way to sap all our flies. Basically, that entire floor, I probably will not fire a laser. Should not have picked up Guppy's collar. It was the worst decision I could have made. But that doesn't make this impossible. Makes it just simply unlikely. Alright, well, sure, I'll take 25 cents and a soul heart. I guess we're just doing. What was there? I didn't even see. It must have been spiders or something. Yeah, that's the problem. Also, I earned this somehow, even though I took red heart damage. Oh, I didn't take it on the boss. Whatever. Ball bandages. Okay. If I die a couple times on the way, do I really care? I can still die to Satan's foot, like that's still a thing I can die to. But I'd really rather not. Yeah, that's the problem right there.
I've done that more than once. I thought I could get that bomb out of range. Alright, that's good enough for me. Oh, I have made my life so much harder. I really should also drop the left hand. This is just a bad plan. Well. Shouldn't have taken that. Whatever. That might not be a bad thing to take. It lowers my damage, but... It very much strikes me as a why bother, unfortunately. Sure, there are things I could do, but why bother? Well, we would have become guppy anyway. In fact, that might be... This might be what I want. I don't think I want Dad's key. Well, except for the part that I don't have any keys. Like, actual keys. Thing. It's time to drop left hand. Fine, I'll drop it in a room where there isn't any gravity mod. Because that's messing with me. That trip pill might not be a terrible thing to have on me either. Well, one second. I can gamble for keys. I only need so many of them. Like four or five, maybe? I think four or five is a reasonable number to try and get to. Now that f my flies didn't actually protect me. Don't want that. Give me this one. We've been over this game. You're gonna get blown up here, game. Oh, screw it. I'm gonna open this one. Guppy's head will give me a controllable amount of flies, and that might be what I need. Alright, well, the map's nice, so I don't need the world anymore, although I even lost the world somewhere. This might be weird, but th I think this is a better plan. I can run away from the Fallen, use that, that way I don't have to have flies. I like that plan. I'm actually going to use magic fingers, holy crap, like, when did the apocalypse happen? Is hell frozen yet? Because I'm pretty sure that's what happens when I use this item. If I die, I feel like a joker. I kill myself before I go into that room. I magic fingers until he's dead. I like this plan. Well, hot gloves would have been nice to have before this, but I don't really care. Red bomb's easy. Doesn't actually matter what we take. Um, I want this. Fine, I'll take those. Uh, the reason why I want the Polaroid is because if I manage to get myself a little bit of stuff, it'll give me the invincibility to finish off uh, the Fallen. I really don't need these soul hearts. I really don't need a lot of these things. Because I'm still generating a lot of flies. 
Oh my god. What? Oh, I hit an eternal fly. Okay, well, whatever. That's the thing. Sure. As I said, dying isn't really an issue to me. I've got ten lives. At least. This is a preview of that fight. Oh Jesus, no, 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 I can't take that. I don't want to die as Judas. That would turn me into Judas if I were to die, which is exactly what I need to not happen. Because then I'm Judas, not Azazel. Well, this is kind of annoying. See, the thing is, my damage really isn't that great. It's just, I have so many flies and the flies have a uh, hive mind on them. the dangerous part. I don't have to do anything. Killing myself will get rid of all my flies, I believe, so that's the plan. I can increase my damage. I actually kind of do want to do that, because pay to play is based on, or pay to win is based on your damage. So I did just put all the flies into Mom's heart, which is fine by me. So we have to go down. And we have to die a whole bunch. And I mean a whole bunch. Alright, so let's just do this. I actually don't want any of these things. Like, I just, I just don't. Don't want any of them. So, screw it. We got a long way to go. A lot of lives to lose. A lot of tears to build up, or a lot of flies to build up, basically. Two spades, sure, 12 keys, don't even care. Sun. Might not be terribly useless. What I do kind of want is a balls of steel pill. I want some soul hearts on the floor. I'm not going to pick up any soul hearts I find. I want some soul hearts so that I can get some health on basically every life that could should be my last. Problem is I actually don't know how, because um, I'm pretty sure you get a times one question mark. Yeah, because you get times one question mark just from oh good, uh, just from picking up. Guppy's collar, which means technically I get down to times one question mark, and that's when I'm done. That's when I might come back to life, and I might not. God, I, I, that was the worst decision of this run. Bear that in mind. Respawns aren't necessarily worthless, but they're definitely not helpful. Well, shouldn't say that. Um, Guppy's collar is useless. She. How much does that hurt them? Not much. I've got a lot of money though, so it's, in that regard I'm not worried. Alright, what we got? Falls of Steel, full health. Thank you. That Falls of Steel pill will be very useful. Unfortunately it gives it to them directly instead of being like Hierophant. And only doing it, I mean, just dropping it on the floor. Wait. Oh, I have that last run. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, so I can finish that without getting hit. The key is just actually doing that. And then I have a lot of flies. That's the problem. I should have used pay to play on there and see, see how long it would have taken. Okay, let's keep killing stuff. If I die, so be it. I'd actually need to die nine times, so... These could give me soul hearts. I want to 
save some bombs. So we've got three soul hearts sitting on the floor, one black heart. So that gives us, okay. That gives us buffer on four things, I wanna say. So we got fires. I don't particularly like this. And when I say I don't particularly like this, I mean I hate what I'm doing right now. The fact that I have to do this is really bad. 99 cents should be enough. I don't want to get very many flies is the danger. Because if you have to go into the last thing, the last part of this, um, you might die to the, the bomb flies. Or you might kill Satan. All of those things are bad. Alright, kill myself one more time. I still have these flies though. That might play to my advantage. Just let me die. Yes! Okay, so it let us die and we unlock the lost. And that is unlocking the lost, with a little bit of luck. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, this was a little crazy. Um, I did make some bad decisions, but hopefully, because I have made the bad decisions and you have been watching, you have learned from my mistakes and therefore will not make the same bad decisions that I did. I got lucky and didn't have to do a ton of manipulation. It all worked out perfectly. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time.